natural hazard which is landslide and very important when it comes to context of India so landslide is one of the things which is very important when it comes to context of India so landslide what do you understand by the landslide means like the sliding of the land or what should I define let us suppose the movement of a piece of land due to force acting, acting on the object which makes them prone to sliding like it's 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 moving right so it is commonly the geodynamical sensitive areas like we generally observe these landslides in hilly areas and plate tectonic zones you might have observed whenever you go to hilly areas especially in india in, in the rainy seasons you observe these landslides so these are very common like in the area of uttarakhand himachal pradesh so what are the factors which are affecting landslides so we have to understand in terms of these crucial factors which affect the landslides so what are the like major factors which affect the landslide so first and foremost is the gravity or acceleration due to gravity which affects the landslide right second one is the water heavy rainfall which makes the area slippery you might have seen and there will be more probability of landslides and the area becomes slippery because it reduces the force among the soil particles and soil become looser and it start moving the next one is the seismicity or a seismic event in the hilly areas right for example uttarakhand you might have seen a lot of incident happen right so this could be one of the reason then vegetation cover you can correlate like more vegetation less landslide and vice versa lesser the vegetation more will be the landslide because the vegetation keep holding the soil particle intact then next could be the climate for example if you have a humid areas they are more prone to landslides because the soil become loose absorbing a lot of moisture then anthropogenic and animal activity these activities could be crucial for landsliding in hilly areas mining activities are also there because with the each blasting activity in the mining they shake up the floor then construction of the road and dam in the hilly areas they could be one of the potential reasons for landslides then slope no doubt is one of the very important reason so more the slope more is the occurrence of landslides more is the probability that the land will slide if you have higher slopes it means more slopey area you will be having more landslide and in case of less slopey area you have less landslide then we have geological features such as fracture or fault so wherever we have a fracture means between the two plates or some some fault is there fault line is there so there are high probability of landslides and these fractures are developed due to mining and convection current inside the earth so they these mining activity they are responsible for these fractures and the convection currents of the heat so some of the if we talk about some of the landslide affected areas in india so these are like uttarakhand which you are nowadays you know by the name of uk then we have himachal pradesh then we have jammu and kashmir then we have western ghats then we have nilgiri hills northeast areas so northeast northeast states so these are some of the landslide prone areas so how these landslide can be prevented so now let's see the prevention of the landslides so how these landslide can be prevented you will see that quickly that how these landslide can be prevented so we can do a hazard zoning map like we can have different zones in india and these are more prone to landslide these are less prone these areas are more hot spot for landslide so the first step in these landslide mitigation program is hazard zonation means you have to make a map of landslide prone prone areas in which we will do mapping and identification of areas prone to mass movements like wherever the lands are easily like 
vulnerable for landslide. A hazard zoning map involves the following investigation like what you have to do. So in order to make a landslide hazard zone mapping or in general a hazard zone mapping, what you have to do. So first we have to do the surveying of geological structure and lithological settings that like how what are the rocks and what are the soil studies are there. So geological structure and lithological setting have to be seen. Right. Then we have to finding the seismic pattern that in which pattern the earthquakes occur there or seismic activity happen in that region including epicenters of the earthquakes which happen in the past. And what was the value of ground acceleration due to the earthquake in that area? So these are the important things which needs to be done in order to making a hazard zoning map. Third, we have to determine the strength of the soil, that how strong the soil particles are holding. And if the soil is having alluvial, right, and slopey terrain, they will be more prone to landslide, right? So they will be more prone to landslides. Then, how these landslide can be connected to the drainage control and dewatering methods, which can be done to do the hazard zonation mapping. This is accomplished by constructing an elaborate drainage network. Like we can do a slope modification. The stability of the slope, the whatever slope you have, like the, the, how the rock is tilted, can be increased by gradient. It make multiple roads. By constructing the benches, which not only reduce the slope but also serve as a trap for sliding and creeping material which is coming down, so that the downslope movement can be protected. So these are some of the prevention techniques. Then landslide zoning can be done. So on the basis of severity of landslide and the vulnerable bat that which areas are more prone to landslide, which area are more prone to landslide. So these. Zones can be classified. So generally, we have four zones for landslides. So first is very unstable zone, right? So first is very unstable zone. It includes area where the mass movement is very common phenomena, like due to the favorable structure or lithological geomorphic conditions. Easily landslide can happen, right? Because, for example, the Himalayan belt. Which lies in this zone, so you will have frequent landslide, which is very unstable zone. Then we have unstable zone. In this zone, the important feature is that we know that landslide has happened in the past in this region, and climatic condition also make it more conclusive for the landslides. So this has to be understood. For example, the Western Ghats, like in the previously we have seen the landslide happen in such areas. And the climatic conditions of these areas also make it prone for landslide. Then we have areas like moderately stable zone. And these moderately stable zone, these are characterized by stable geological structure. Means they are having very stable geological structure there. And lithological settings. And this can only be destabilized by erosion or engineering activity. So there, if there will be a higher activity of the soil erosion or the erosion tendency or some of the other engineering activities as mining or road making then it can be destabilized otherwise it is stable with respect to landslide means rare observation of the landslide then we have stable zones where no landslide is observed for example desert where the we have the zero slope almost zero means we don't have any kind of terrain and this is plain land form with unfavorable climatic condition like dry area. So we observed no landslide in such areas, which are referred to as stable zone with respect to the landslide zone. Then let's talk about avalanches. So we will be briefly talking about avalanches. So these are similar to landslide, except they happens in the snowy area. So wherever we have a lot of snow, avalanches generally happen there. So, this coordinate, right, this 66 and a half degree, right, is more prone to avalanches. So, these are Scandinavian countries like Norway, 
Switzerland, Alps Mountain. Okay, so these are the area. And K2 and Godwin Austin, these are the areas which are more prone to avalanche. One has to remember that thing. So this was all about avalanches.